Hi, I'm Kerry with Best of Us Investors. I'm putting out this video because a stock that I had recommended based on a recommendation from one of my tribe members, Gabe, Netlist, is dropping today by, uh, let's see, it's down 25% right now. Um, it all involves a company that 10 years ago created a operating system, I guess you would say, or a um, piece of software that helped the search engine business substantially. And they shared this software with Google, and uh, Google proceeded to steal it and use it. At least that is what the courts have said. And now they're in a uh, legal procedure to find out if in fact uh, there were damages and what those amount, that amount of those damages were. Now, to bring you up to date, um, Netlist came out with their earnings and as I listened to the earnings call, I came to realize that Netlist is in the business of generating cutting edge uh, technology and then patenting it and then uh, trying to sell it and basically then pursuing those people who they believe have stolen it from them. They've won a few cases, but they have many more lined up and they look like, from my point of view, uh, that they're in a strong position. The market has turned on them now. Um, with the stock having been, uh, I bought it at three, uh, it went up to 10, it's now down to $5.55. Uh, I'm up 56% on it, and that's into the matter of a month. And that's good, but there is right now a bail uh, going on on the stock, and some of the believers are becoming non-believers. But I think it's important, and I do this basically for not only um, my tribe, because they're asking questions, and they're probably some of them who are selling today, uh, but I have access to the statements that have been made by the executives of Netlist in their quarterly call relative to what's going on. And I wanna share that with you. I'm sure not all of you have access to it, but I want you to be aware of what's going on and make a judgment for yourself. So right after this, we'll take a look or give you access to that um, uh, quarterly call and you can make for your, your own decision whether Netlist is in a strong position, weak position, or if you want to ride it out with them because it's gonna take some time. So stick with me on this. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split screen this and I'm going to show you the words as they're being spoken uh, by the executives of uh, Netlist explaining in their words where this le legal situation is. It's a, uh, about a 15 minute uh, um, explanation. So I would invite you to listen to all 15 minutes uh, or jump forward and then when it's done, I'll uh, share my thoughts and what I feel I'll do or you can just skip forward uh, to that uh, after you've had enough of what we're about to hear. So let's take a look at it. Turning now to IP and legal matters, starting with the litigation pending in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California against Google. There's been quite a bit of activity in the past few months. I'll provide additional detail and context, which we believe will help in the understanding of what has transpired and the process we currently expect to unfold in the case. As previously mentioned, we retained Irel and Manella in the beginning of the second quarter to represent us in the case. 
Arel is one of the premier patent litigation firms in the country, producing the most recent head of the United States uh, Patent and Trademark Office, and having recently secured major judgments and settlements against Intel and Samsung in the federal district courts. Discovery began in earnest following the case management conference in March. Unfortunately, as par for the course with Google, they failed to provide requested material to Netlist as required by the court. As a result, there was a discovery dispute with a hearing held on June 25. Uh, during the hearing, Magistrate Judge Sparrow required Google to provide a response to Netlist's discovery request seeking Google's position on intervening rights. Following the ruling, a stipulation was entered into, an, into in early July between the parties where Google agreed to provide all discovery related to equitable intervening rights and not to seek an early summary judgment on equitable intervening rights. The parties agreed to delay briefing related to absolute intervening rights by two weeks. On July 30, Netless filed a motion for summary judgment to dis uh, dispose of Google's intervening rights defense as to Claim 16 of the 912 patent as a matter of law. Google filed a motion for summary judgment as to absolute intervening rights. Responses will be due on September 3rd, while reply briefs will be due on September 17th. While the issue is brief, fully briefed, Excuse me. Uh, once the issue is fully briefed, the judge may reschedule a hearing or make a ruling based on the briefing over the coming months. We remain confident in our position that no intervening rights exist as to the Claim 16 of the 912 patent. The parties are currently engaged in early phases of discussions with the mediator. I would like to take a moment to further expand on intervening rights and the likely process during the Google case. The defense of intervening rights allows a party whose products infringe a reissued or reexamined patent to continue to use or sell specific products under certain conditions uh, that were made, uh, that were made, purchased, or used before the reissuance of or reexamination. There are two types of intervening rights, equitable and absolute intervening rights. Absolute intervening rights provide an accused infringer with the absolute right to use or sell a product that was made, used, or purchased before the completion of the reexamination. In the case of Netless's 912 patent, Google is contending this date is February 8, 2021 date the certificate of reexamination published. Equitable intervening rights, in contrast to absolute intervening rights, provide more limited protection. Equitable intervening rights can allow for the continued manufacture, use, or sale of additional products covered by the reexamined patent. Unlike absolute intervening rights, courts must make an equitable determination based on certain factual findings in order for equitable intervening rights to apply. During the intervening rights analysis in the Google case, the court will determine whether or not the claims of the 912 patent are substantially identical, uh, quote, unquote, to the original claims. This involves the question of whether any valid claims of the 912 patent was present in the original patent issued on November 17, 2009. As an example, in our case, Netless contends that original claim 16 of the 912 was not substantially changed during a 10-year reexamination process, and the claim in the reexamination certificate is identical in language. Claim 16 was simply a dependent claim in the original 912 patent that was rewritten in independent form. Our motion for summary judgment of no intervening rights on Claim 16 sets out our position on this issue. On July 30, Google filed a motion to strike related to Claim 16 in an attempt to remove the claim from the litigation. Our response is due on August 13. We feel strongly about our ability to win this challenge. It is clear from this tactic that Google is taking 
their exposure to Claim 16 very seriously. With regard to other claims in the 912 that are currently being asserted and were amended during the reexamination process, we intend to argue that there are claims for which there was not a substantive, substantive change regardless of amendment. Judge Armstrong will review the briefing and make a determination with respect to those claims as well. It is important to note Netless's contention that the 912 not only applies to Google's FD DEMs, but also applies to Google's make and use of DDR4 R DEMs and LR DEMs. This is very important as it is likely that Google has been using all of these technologies for many years. Thus, a decision in Netless's favor could significantly expand the number of years of infringement and the volume of infringing products. Returning to the current course schedule, which is publicly available, Netless will start exchanging materials related to claim construction in October. In November, the parties will also begin exchanging information related to Google's damages and the claim, end of claim construction discovery will occur on December 17. After the briefing and ruling related to absolute intervening rights, the next major event in the case is the Markman hearing, also known as claim construction hearing. Netless's opening Markman brief is due January 21, 2022. Google's response brief will be due February 4th. And finally, Netless's response Netless's reply brief will be due February 11. All this briefing will bring the parties to the Markman hearing, which is scheduled for March 9, and will result in the court ruling on the meaning of key claim terms. The Markman ruling is typically a watershed moment in patent litigation, as the meaning of the claims will be determined, as the meaning of the claims will determine the extent of the infringement. Given that the issue of validity on the challenge patent has been largely decided in Netless's favor by the ruling of the appellate court last year, the definition of the claims determined by the Markman process will likely provide a strong early indication of the legal outcome of this case. While the fight with Google has been long and difficult, lasting more than 10 years, we remain committed to protecting Netlist's intellectual property on behalf of the company and its shareholders. Historically, companies like Google that are virtual monopolies have been prone to leverage their enormous market powers and resources to tap into and exploit innovations created by domain experts such as Netlist. At times, these, these giants are shamelessly blatant in their unauthorized use of intellectual properties owned by others. When they are challenged legally, they tend not to rely on substantive merit, but on their massive legal budgets to pursue scorched earth tactics and drag out the judicial process in an attempt to bleed the IP owner dry. This is exactly the kind of anti-competitive behavior which the authorities in the U.S. and EU are now addressing with Google and other big tech companies through stronger enforcement of antitrust laws. They are enacting new regulations and implementing policies to rein in abusive behavior by the global tech giants in order to promote a more fair and even playing field for players of all sizes in the tech industry, and most importantly, to try to create a business climate more conducive to innovation and one that rewards innovation. Netless is committed to fighting pervasive illegal use of its intellectual property and seeks to obtain fair, reasonable, and non-discriminatory licenses for the technologies that Netless has spent years and millions to develop. He goes on to talk about uh, the Samsung case and several other cases that they feel they have patent infringement cases to uh, pursue. It seems to me that uh, Netlist is making a real effort to be innovative, to create innovative tools, and then they are very strong in defending them. The only issue with this, of course, is that uh, it takes time. Obviously, um, the market is getting impatient. A lot of you bailed today, uh, or I should say Monday, 
and we saw a 25% drop in the, in the price of Netlist. My personal opinion is I think this um, case has merit. I think that my interpretation of the atmosphere in both Europe and the United States towards the bullying efforts of the big tech giants is coming to a head. And I think that I'm betting anyway that Netlist will win this and um, they will win substantial damages and the price of the stock will go b above 10, possibly to 20, even possibly to 40. The issue then becomes when do you get out? Uh, should I have gotten out at 10 when I was in at three? Uh, yeah, of course, because it came down to five today. Uh, I should have got out at 10 and then bought back in five, but that didn't happen. And that is not likely to happen because I can't read the tea leaves. So the market is reacting to momentum and right now the momentum is negative. I would encourage if you hold a position uh, to maintain it. And if you have money that you want to commit, uh, this would be a good time to commit. I'm going to do another video in which I'm going to interview Gabe and get his feedback on this. Uh, he is more knowledgeable. He has spent more time. He has focused on this. And I'll put that up in the next couple of days. He's probably going to be seeking some help and reaching out to tribe members and non-tribe members to help him do more research and help strengthen our position, the tribe's position, relative to our positions in Netlist. So I hope this is helpful. I hope it also gives you some insight as to how this YouTube channel, Best of Us Investors, is different than others. And if it looks like something you would like to be involved in, and I suggest that you subscribe, you then smash that like uh, symbol, as well as the bell, which will notify you every morning when I put out a new video. And I'll be talking to you more about this in the very near future with Gabe. And I'll be talking to you probably just about every day now. So uh, good luck on this. I hope this was helpful.